The takeoff runway and departure procedure can be entered at any time during the pre-flight, before or after flight plan activation. To select a departure runway, go to the Takeoff and Climb tab and select Runway SID. Select the departure runway. The SID window displays all of the available departure procedures in the navigation database for the selected runway. If a departure procedure is not required, you can leave it blank. To select a departure, click on the SID name and transition and insert it into the pending flight plan. Review the procedure and then activate it. Once the departure runway and procedure are activated, the SID takeoff window will be shown and the transition altitude will be highlighted. The transition altitude defaults to 18,000 feet. Verify the transition altitude. Change it if necessary and push Enter. The cursor will jump to the V-speed field. Enter the takeoff V-speeds. Entry of V-speeds is optional. If V-speeds are entered, they will be displayed on the airspeed indicator during takeoff. Once the speeds are entered, click on Send. This sends the entered V-speeds to be displayed on the airspeed indicator. A discontinuity is created in a flight plan any time a defined flight path does not exist between two waypoints. Adding a departure procedure typically results in a discontinuity in the flight plan. It is caused by a lack of a common point between the departure procedure and the flight plan. Click on the discontinuity window and select Delete Waypoint once it has been determined that the discontinuity can be removed from the flight plan.